everybody welcome back to my channel it's Debbie here and if you're new here also welcome I'm glad you can join me today so today I am doing a plan with me in my classic sized happy planner I am going to be using a mini kit from Green Darner Designs I love her stickers so I have that I also have the modern farmhouse and the homebody out because there's a few stickers in here that will go with these colors I am going to be planning for the week of April 12th to the 18th so last week was my uh, sunshine and lemonade I just loved that layout so if you haven't watched that if you're new and you haven't seen that um, go see last week's half our plan with me that sunshine and lemonade was so pretty and bright is anybody else like just trying to force like spring late spring um i i feel like i'm trying to push everything i can't plant here till the very like even for cold hardy plants i can't plant till near the end of may and nothing that's not cold hardy can go into the ground until june to start off with i want to do my sidebar and for that i think i'm just going to use this long sticker from the modern farmhouse sticker book because it goes well it goes well with this so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to put it down the sidebar for my master list and i'm going to put it right right here like that Oh, all that, all that, I go to do it. I press it down and it's not straight. I swear it moves after I let go of it. I swear. Oh, and it's going to stay crooked. Goodness. Well, maybe I can put something on here to distract from that. I mean, it's not much, but it's a little bit. That sticker isn't peeling back up. Our um, Happy Planner stickers usually come back up fairly easy. nope it's pulling the paper up so i don't think it's the stickers i swear that the quality of the paper in this year's planners is not as good as it has been so i and i say that almost every video because something happens that never used to happen yeah it's crazy isn't it guys so i absolutely love this girl right here oh maybe that's what i'll do i'll put her right here and it'll distract from that sticker not being quite straight how about that oh and then i can then now i can live with it now i can live with it but note to self be like extra careful now um <laughs> yeah so these boxes are absolutely gorgeous i don't, I don't even know which ones to use where like that's that's just how pretty these are I think I'm gonna go with this now this kit is called potting shed um, I so wish I had a she shed I really really do so this one's going here just like that I'm going to be really really careful and I'm gonna kind of stagger them throughout this one here i'm gonna put this blue one with just the flower on it at the top here i think the ones that have you know the more active images like the, the pictures of the girl and stuff like that I think I want them not as close to her so oh gosh these are, they're so pretty though guys they're so so pretty mini 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 mo yeah I want this one oh I love this so if you saw yesterday's video 
I added a garden journal to my planner. Mm -hmm. I did. I added a garden journal to my planner. So if you're wondering how you can do that, I have gone through so many gardening journals over my time. And I honestly, I never find one that I use for very long. And it's simply because it's simply because I, they don't fit my needs. So they don't have what you need. So I decided that just an open book, I was just going to grab a book. And I was going to do an open book um, journal. And then I decided that I wanted, I wanted it to be actually a planner, something that I could keep. So I decided that I was just going to use some of my bits from one of the planners that I didn't use, that I started to use and then... I realized I really didn't need it. So I decided to use it and I put the months from, what did I put in guys? I put in um, the months from April to October because that would be the end of cleanup season for gardening. And then I put in so I have this checklist which I think I'm going to put over here like this on the weekend. How am I going to get this straight? I got to look right at it and see if I can do this. Cause I want it in the middle there. And um, yeah, so Anyway, yeah, go watch that video. Go watch that video. I put in April to October. And the reason I put in April to October was because that's your full gardening season from um, ordering, for me, from ordering my seeds to getting them started in April. I mean, I pre-ordered them in March, but um, getting them started in April right through to my fall cleanup and decorating outside for Halloween, um, which will go in my gardening planner and then I will put in November and December for my cleanup from for my cleanup from uh, from Halloween and decorate for Christmas and I can put in a gift section and I can put in you know, like my Christmas shopping and decorating and food and all of that stuff, I will put all of that in. So now I need my boxes along the bottom, my boxes along the bottom. So I need some florals and some, I need some florals and I need some um, boxes for down there. So this one, ooh, right here. Wow. These really match, don't they? Those florals. And there's a little bit of them in here with gold on them as well. What have I got for boxes that can go with these? Oh, guys. These are awfully big, though. They're too big. This is the Homebody Mini. <laughs> There's some nice little boxes. Ah, I like these. And I know these are strips, but I can cut some off. So that's what I'm going to do. I am going to cut some of these off and I'm going to put some of these florals down. So first off, let, let me do my florals. I think I'm going to do my florals further along the bottom of the box this week. So I'm going to put in, that way I can kind of hang them down over the bottom if I want to. I'm not going to press them down really, really hard. Look at how nicely these florals go with this anyway. Absolutely gorgeous. 
Absolutely. There, when you need a leaf, you need a leaf. Like that. And yeah, yeah. So make your planner work for you guys. Make it work. That's that. my biggest advice to people is people buy them and then they think I don't have the right planner because it doesn't fit in the guidelines of what I want to do in it. And that's not right. You can take almost any planter, planter, you can take almost any planner and make it work for you like you really, really can. You really can. Just adding a few bits of more. I'm going to have to get another one of these books. This book's going down fast. It's going down fast. Now, these little bits with the gold on them are really, really pretty. So I'm going to add them in. Because I can. Uh, yeah, so something else too. All these florals and boxes that I've gotten into using. I was just, I haven't been on my YouTube for a little while. I haven't been on there just, you know, looking to see what other people are doing and what other people are posting and what have you. So I went on last night to watch a few of my channels that I subscribe to and I watched a video. So does anybody else watch Heather Kell? I mean, I'm sure you do. Kell of a plan uh, on YouTube. And that's what she does is planning videos. She's an amazing, she's my planner guru. Um, just so that you know. I I got hooked on planning by watching just a few videos from Crafty Girl back when she was Jeep Crafty Girl and when she did planner videos and she would do these amazing themes and I that was the first time I'd ever heard of a happy planner first time I'd ever heard of a happy planner so I had to go and get a happy planner and jump right on board and start doing the whole planner thing so that was a few years ago and one of the second people that i found was heather cal and she's amazing she's an absolute amazing she's a guru a guru a planner guru in my opinion so you can go to her channel and she'll teach you just about anything that you need to know about planners absolutely anything you need to know about planners so i need my little scissors here so yeah I, I i absolutely love her absolutely love her um she's amazing so she's come out with her own sticker line which is about time she's she's a genius she's the She's the outside the box. Use your stickers in whatever way you can that they make sense to you and that you get the most function out of them. She's the first person I watched that layered her boxes and didn't use the size stickers that were meant for the planner and so on and so forth. So she is without a doubt my favorite planner person on YouTube right now. So if you don't follow her, go do that. Absolutely. Go do that. And she also, I need a pink one. I'm going to use this one right here. See, these are strips, but it doesn't mean I have to use them in strips. I can cut them off and use them 
how I want. That one's a little crooked. That's what, that's what you get when you're not paying attention. So you can use them how you want. So I'm using them here for my TV shows. And I started doing this oh, a month ago now, I think. It seems like it's been a long time. Um, and I, I've been using florals and boxes along the bottom to mark my TV shows and to anchor my pages. So it, um, it was pretty much her idea. And then I watched her do a flip through. I haven't watched for a while. See, this is what happens when you don't watch for a while. So I went on and I watched you do a flip through of the Roy G. Roy G. Big, I think, or however she says it. It's the initials for the rainbow, um, the colors in the rainbow, red, yellow, or red, orange, yellow, um, G is for green and then blue and so on and so forth. So she, she put out her own sticker book and that's what it is. It's two amazing pages of florals in the same color scheme and then a page of boxes that match it. So it's, it's the boxes and then the florals and Oh my gosh, they're so pretty, guys. So, so pretty. And I want them. So, of course, she only ordered... She's just new at doing her own sticker books. So, she only ordered a set amount from the manufacturer. And they sold out, apparently, within minutes. I mean, that was last week. So, she's got more coming in. I shouldn't be telling everybody because they'll be sold out again and I won't get mine. So she's got more coming in soon. So follow her on Instagram and go watch that video and you'll be able to see how amazing those stickers are. What, I, what have I got left? I love this weekend, but it's a vertical. But does that mean I can't use it? That doesn't mean I can't use it. Does it? Let's put it down here from the bottom. There, I'll just put it in the middle of the weekend. And then put a few little flowers or something down beside it. It's white it's not going to show anyway I'm just thinking of adding a little bit of like just a little touch of floral to like here and over here like this there because I can and then I have this absolutely amazing uh-oh there it is it's just me guys it's not the stickers so I'm gonna put this on top of this box I'm gonna put the little potting shed on top of this box because I already have something tall here and then I'm going to take this ladder and I'm going to put it up like that right there so it doesn't matter if you cover up your vertical lines and go outside the boxes. You can write all the way across two boxes if you've got something that's too big to write in one. At least that's my theory. I'm a sucker for three-tiered trays. Now I want to 
right in these little spots up here. So I'm trying to keep them open a little bit. Um, but I'm a sucker for three-tiered trays. So I'm going to set one on top of this box. And I'm going to set that right there. So I'm just picking them and then kind of going, where will this look good? Where will this look good? On top of this box, right beside, right here, right there, like that. And then Harvest Love. And attach it to that sticker. I can. Because I can. Peas and carrots. Everybody wants to plant peas and carrots because they're easy to grow. Like that. And they don't have to be straight up and down either. Like put your little put your little decorative bits wherever you want to put them. So I've got a few left. I'm gonna go across the top of the page between the dates, like this. Potting soil, yes, sir. I need a lot of that. So yeah, this is just adding the little bits that make it look pretty. Make it look pretty. There. And I still haven't got anything for this corner down here, but I've got these boxes right here and I'm going to put them let's see this one's going over here like that and this one's going over here like that and on this side over here, I am going to put a little list there. I'm going to put my flag right here. like that. And I'm going to put the other flag on Thursday. No, I'm not. <laughs> and yes, I am. Yes, I am. Because that's what I want to do. I want this flag over here on Thursday. And then I want this little box over here instead. To the right. Yeah, right here. Like this. And I've got a little label there. I'm going to put Maybe I need to look in here. Do I have any checklists in here that are longer that I could use? Colors just match so well, don't they? So, so well. Oh, my monthly boxes. <sighs> How perfect is that? So instead of this little checklist, 
which I can't get back up. I'm going to put this box right here that says one, two, and three on it. So I have my checklist for Tuesday. And so maybe I'll just use this really pretty green that is in here just a little bit. That one, I think. Like this. There, like that. Always keep joy in your heart. So I'm done. I'm absolutely done. Um, so this is what these labels are for. So Tuesday is trash day. I want to make sure that I empty all my bins. I'm, I'm so terrible. I will put the trash out and I'll forget to empty the bin that's at my craft table and it will be overflowing. I want to wash my bins. It's supposed to be really nice on Tuesday, so it'll be a good day to hook the garden hose up and give them all a good wash out and set them in the sun. And I'm going to do the same thing with my kitty litter box. Put it out in the sun and give it a good hosing down and let it dry. It needs that every once in a while. And then this is my master list of chores. So that's it. I filled in my um, master to-do list. I put in the times that my shows come on so that I don't miss them. I put in, um, well, you saw me put in trash day in this part here. So I added a few stickers. I added a couple of these rose gold hearts here. I found the rose gold stickers and I just thought, oh gosh, they go with this kit so, so well. So I put in a couple of rose gold hearts here. I put live in love and the love is in rose gold. I added clean up. And put some and grocery shop and put some check spots down the sides and I added uh, do all things with kindness and the kindness has rose gold there as well so just a little bit of sparkle to add to my page I'm quite happy with the way that it turned out using a kit um, usually makes it turn out fairly well to look at uh, but you have to remember to keep your function in there as well. So I do, I have laundry and I've got, I usually do three loads and I, I'll check off, you know, like I'll do darks and I'll do um, my sheets or my bedding and I'll do whites or I'll do my towels. But I usually do three loads. I can manage to squeeze three small to medium sized loads out each Monday. There is only me. There's only me here, so it's not, they're not big loads. It's not a lot. I put down what I had to do on Tuesday. I've got a little list for Wednesday here, um, but I may just write something in there. But I put down clean my house here, and I put down clean up here. So these specific times. Actually, do you know what? I don't think I need this. So I'm going to take that off. And I'm going to move the clean house. Whoops, sorry guys. I'm just going to move my clean house down to right here and make it that there so that I have another little spot to write something if I want to write something on Wednesday. That's what I mean about keeping it functional. I'm more apt to get a phone call or... Uh, you know, kind of um, get a text from somebody and think, oh, I should phone them and I'll put, you know, phone, make a phone call here or, um, you know, if something comes up and I have to do it. I like to have a little spot. So Monday's 
pretty much taken. I have a little spot to right here. I have a spot to right here. I can fill this all in. I found this little bloom where you are planted on that little extra page that I had and I put it in here. I just liked that. Um, Make Today Great again is in that rose gold and I've got my cleanup list here. I've got some spots down here to write. I haven't filled in anything on my weekend yet because I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Yeah, this is Saturday. So um, it's a week. It's a week. So I'll fill it in before I get there. But that's it. It looks really pretty on the black discs. Everything looks really pretty on the black discs. The black discs tend to add a little bit of elegance to all my spreads. So, yeah, my shows are in here so I don't forget. I think I said that. Anyway, if you like it, don't forget to either give a thumbs up Share this with somebody that you think might enjoy planner videos. That's the best thing that you can do to help me grow my channel. Of course, go hit that subscribe button before you leave. Do that right now, and I will see you all in the next video. And until then, take care, everybody, and be safe.